Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So today I'm going to prepare my canvas um, and kit up my beautiful butterfly wreath. I've only just got this one, but I absolutely love it. It's got a hanger ready to be hung up. Um, I have still got my Easter wreath downstairs, so I think rather than having the Easter wreath <laughs> still up, I'm going to put my butterfly wreath up instead. So let's just pop that out of the way for now and um, actually I'll put that back in the box so I don't get that creased. I am going to um, leave, leave the plastic cover on this one um, because I do tend to work colour by colour on uh, a special uh, diamond painting project so I'll be doing it each colour at a time and just working round so I don't need to put my little extra cover sheets on that I use but uh, <coughs> can't wait to get started so let's put that away we've got our two tool kits with our bags I may need a set of bags if some of the drills don't fit in my storage container so I'll get some of those out ready okay and um, I've got my little 28 storage container from uh, the little tool kit the extra tool kit that you can get I'll put um, a link and I'll put a photograph in So you can see that that's from Craft Buddy Crystal Art um, and you do get your little pouring tray as well and your weighted orange tray which just means it doesn't easily tip over like uh, the smaller trays. I'm really good at just <laughs> tipping. Okay, pop the instructions out the way as well. So as uh, I do with all my kitting ups, um, I like to keep things intact for my little... Um, log book where I keep everything all the diamond paintings I've done so that's the copy that came with the kit and I've just put this through my scanner and copied myself another one so what I want to do is keep the DMC number and the drill shape and number and I don't need the rest of it I mean to be honest I could have probably split this down or copied it with other uh, items as well it would have just uh, saved on ink a little bit but uh, I've put it through and done it all at the moment, so let's just make sure I get all the numbers. Okay, hope you're all well and doing okay. We've got quite a nice spring day here in the UK at the moment. Don't need the amount of drills, the approximate um, number of crystals. Yeah, I don't need that. I just need the DMC number for when I kick down and the symbol number for while I'm doing the diamond painting. So let's just cut that one off there. Gosh, my sight's bad today. Maybe if I shut one eye and I can't see. No, that's better. If I just shut my uh, bad eye, I can see better. <laughs> okay. In the bin. Oh, that hurts me throwing away all that paper. Right, then I've got my little Xyron sticker maker, which will just turn these into a sticker. So pop that in there and just pull through. I'll try not to waste any if I can. That's the first part. And oops, that's the second part there. Okay, handy little tool this. I do love it. Just uh, makes life so much easier rather than using glue and uh, just peel that off so all the sticky comes away on there and on that bit and then this just basically has now turned this piece of copy paper into a sticker that can go on my containers so let's make sure we get them the right way around we start at A which is 154 and get these put on the containers Okay, and just cut in between each one so then it just makes them easier to peel and to put on the boxes. See, so you can use the actual label, uh, that, well, the leaflet that comes with the kit, but I do like to keep them um, and I do like to keep my little log book. I have uh, a note of when I ordered the diamond painting kit or item or project that I've got 
where it came from, how much it cost. Then I write down uh, when the delivery arrived, so I know how long it takes for things to come. And I mark down how many uh, drills or colours it has, whether it's full drill or partial drill, whether it's got squares or rounds, and uh, then how many, no, I've already said how many colours, I'm just trying to think what else I have on my list. Um, I think that's, oh, the size, um, I tend to measure, excuse me, what are you doing? I measure the size of the canvas versus the size that the company have told me um, what the canvas size is. So start at that side because sometimes you'll find that some companies will tell you that uh, your canvas is one size and then when you actually get it, it is the canvas size but not the actual area that you're putting the diamonds on. So it does make the painting that little bit smaller. Um, craft buddy because they are all pre-framed on a wooden frame are all true to size so and i've just started doing these upside down so let me just oh try again liz that's because i'm not concentrating look don't do these when you're tired oh and last night i was doing um just a little bit of diamond painting i thought oh, I'll just do it while i was relaxing um, and unfortunately, yeah, yeah, put those the right way around. <laughs> uh, I managed to put a colour completely the wrong way around on the canvas. So I had to take them all off again. I mean, that's the thing with diamond painting. You're not ruining your project if you do that. Um, you can get your gems, your drills off um, and reposition them. And you can always use your sealer or a little bit of the um, glue if you have put them in the wrong place and put some new ones back on. You'll tend to find there are a lot of canvases, even when you do take your drills off, they're still sticky underneath. And uh, I certainly know the Craft Buddy ones are, because I, I do make mistakes. We all make mistakes. <laughs> Just some of us more than others. Right, so 910 is that one. And then 912 is that one and 913 is that one okay all right so one nine three eight yeah we're back on track again now okay make sure these are open the right way the really good quality ones these as well um so i've had some not such good versions of them where the lids don't shut you've seen it on some of my previous videos where no matter what you do with the lids, just don't stay shut. But these always seem to be really good and nice and tightly shut. I've got to click on them to let you know that they're working well. Okay, X, Y. Oh, that one's an A, B, an A, B, Z. And then we are just going to have a spare one extra. And I thought rather than using my 30 storage, because it's 29 in this one i'll just put the spare extra one in a bag at the end and do it that way okay so we'll just get a little bag and put the number on there okay so that goes on there right so let's have a look at these diamonds then and get them all put away okay that's special so which end are we starting at let's see and there we are nice big letter a look that's great for me with my eyesight so let's get my orange tray and stand them in there watch out for the spillers okay and again this is just the way i kit up and um, if it gives you some ideas that's brilliant and i hope it helps you out look spilled a couple already um, if you've got any tips to help that uh, would do this in a different way or a better way or a different way that you do and uh, please let me know send me a message either facebook i'm on instagram as well scotty dog crafts and um, 
or leave me a message down in the comments and uh, I'll always try and get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, just keep checking that I'm doing the right letter as well. We don't want uh, the wrong ones in the wrong one. These are 310. I always think these are a really good highlight, nice dark black. Millie's rummaging in the bin. I'm not quite sure what she thinks she's going to find, but I think she thinks when I'm talking <laughs> that there's somebody else in the house. So obviously uh, it is quite quiet at the moment with them just being Millie the Scotty Dog and me at the moment. Oh, look, I'm missing completely now. So you've got it from this side. Okay, so that's the first lot. Look at those colours. That yellow is really easy to colour. All right, and next one, letter E. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I ha I, Hubby's in hospital and I do have to laugh. I mean, it, it wasn't funny at the time. and He's been through a horrendous time and it's been awful. Um, but... <laughs> When he went into hospital, it is just about two years ago uh, when he went in. Um, and uh, we had the infectious diseases place uh, come and talk to us because they couldn't work out what was wrong with him. And they basically had, had blood poisoning. Um, and uh, they were asking us two years ago, obviously, pre-COVID, pre-lockdown, had we been on any exotic holidays? Had we been in touch uh, near, near, near any exotic animals um, and all things like that? And this time when he went in, it's um, a similar thing again. It's sepsis, um, which believe me, if you do suspect that you or a loved one has sepsis, get to the hospital as fast as possible. Um, this is why he's not quite so bad this time. Um because we have caught it in time. But yeah, so this time, instead of asking us, have we been on any exotic holidays? Have we been in contact with any exotic animals? Could we have been anywhere that uh, we've been in contact with these exotic things and different things? This time it was, have you been out to a park anywhere? Might you have been in contact with um, any wildlife that you're not used to? <laughs> So we've gone from exotic holidays to have you been to the park. That's what the uh, COVID lockdown's done to us. So <laughs> Sorry, I hope you find that funny. It's just my sense of humour. Um, I laugh at all the wrong things. <laughs> I did try not to laugh at the doctor when he, they were asking it. Oh, that's the same colour as my tray look. Okay. But yeah, just how life has changed. And wearing masks all the time. I must admit that I was out today um, and it's quite a walk from the hospital car park into the hospital. There's a lot of um, uh, renovations going on at the hospital. They're building a whole new frontage to it so um, you have to walk quite a way to get round into the hospital and people just aren't social distancing. Um, very few people are wearing masks outside anymore. Uh, I know it's not the be all and end all having a mask when you're outside, but I just put mine on all the time. I just think, you know, the safer the better. And um, particularly when I'm visiting a hospital, you know, I definitely don't want hubby catching anything now. Um, he's had his first injection. I've had my first injection, but we've not had our second. So, you know, we are still waiting. We do still need to get those. And uh, it's something that it does worry me. We've been being in contact with a lot of people at the minute. We have been in isolation practically for the full year of the lockdown since COVID started. So, anyway, he's doing okay. And uh, I'm sure if he was well, he would be quite enjoying having... Um, the attention of all these nurses <laughs> running around after him. <laughs> okay, and the next one is 
Millie went for a haircut yesterday. I'll put you a picture down below. Um, sorry, I'll insert a picture. So you can see what she looked like. She came back with a little um, flower on a collar and she absolutely hated it. Uh, our previous Scotty, Maisie, loved getting dressed up. She would just sit there, she just liked the attention, she liked the fuss and she would just sit there and she would put her arms out ready if you had a little jumper or anything or a t-shirt to put on her. She just loved it. Millie absolutely hates it. If you put, we go to, uh, we belong uh, Stex, which is Scottish Terrier Emergency Care Services, which is our Scotty Rescue, or a Scotty Rescue in the UK. Um, and I do do some fundraising for them. Uh, when I'm able and that uh, we have Christmas parties and we have a summer party as well where everybody goes with the Scotties and it's wonderful loads of Scotty dogs all over the place too many to cuddle at once let's put it that way and uh, they have like a little fancy dress sort of competition and I always try and enter Millie and uh, she just sits and whatever you put on her she will just sit and she doesn't move, she doesn't budge, and she just looks the most miserable dog in the world, sat there with an account outfit on. And uh, yeah, I'm just the cruelest mummy in the world. <laughs> so to come home yesterday, she doesn't really like having a collar on, but she knows she has to have it on when she goes out for a walk. So to come home yesterday with a flower on a collar, she just sat and she just glared. And I said, come on, I'm going to take a photograph of you. And she just laid and she wouldn't move. And she just glared at me as if to say, get this thing off. And then she started scooting around the living room, trying to get it off. <laughs> but I did manage to get some photographs because I'm, I'm a really cruel like that. I'll be getting the RSPCA after me, won't I? <laughs> what have you been doing to your dog? Well, I put this flower on her collar and she just didn't seem to like it. <laughs> <laughs> but she did look very very pretty oh dear we're all so different and yet she is the soppiest dog going she loves cuddles she's always you've got to be sat on you sat next to you um on the night she sleeps on my pillow and puts her head on top of my head so i suppose it's like when the puppies and there's like a pile of puppies in a basket she maybe thinks I'm a, a puppy with her and she sleeps with her head on top of my head. It can get very hot and if she decides to drool, I wake up with dog drool in my hair, which is oh, lovely. But hey, her. I don't know what I'd have done without her these last couple of years because she has given me a reason to laugh and smile every day. Every day since we got her, which is four years now. Four years on the 15th of April it was that we brought her home. She was eight weeks old, absolutely gorgeous little bundle of fun. She's like a little piranha. If anybody's had a puppy, you'll know what they're like with those baby teeth, goodness me. Like little razors. And uh, yeah, she's been wonderful. Uh, and you've always got somebody that's pleased to see you when you come home. Well, most of the time, unless you put a flower on a collar and she's not speaking to you at all. <laughs> oh dear. It's a hard life when you're a Scotty dog. <laughs> right, so oh, we're getting through with these anyway. These are the AB colours. They have a nice sparkly coating on them. Just makes them sparkle a little bit more. Okay, and we're up to Z already. Just check we're on the right one, yep. Yeah. And then we start on the sparkly gems. Ooh. Okay, so. Right, let's just. Oh, the last two we don't want to get out. And there's just a couple of little escapees there. Get in there. Oh, look, that one's definitely plain hard to get. Okay, it's because it's a special one. You see, it's an A B, so it thinks it's special. It doesn't have to go in with the others. <laughs> okay. 
and this one is a bit scrunched up, but yeah, that's it. So this is just your plain silver crystals, which are always a good staple to have. I think the plain silver are like the 310 in the black drills. Right, so let's go steady with these and get these in the right one. So this one is B. Yeah, that's B. Or is it? Let me see, let me see. Is that one B? That's three. No, that, oh yeah, that's three. Ah, right. So we're not quite in the same order. So this one is B. Okay. As I say, always double check as you're going along doing this. Although I'm sure I would particularly with the shaped ones, you would know that your shape was in the wrong space. And this one is number three, which is the next one there, look, rather than it being those in the line. So, good job I spotted it. But as I say, you would notice that your shapes are slightly different. Okay, and I think I'm going to be working on this one tonight, even though I'm tired. I just feel like relaxing. I think when you diamond paint, it just shuts your mind off and you just relax. And I won't say it's mindless because that's a bit rude. Um, so that one's A28, is T. So that one's, yeah, so these are in a different order as well. So that's T, which is the end one there. These are all the bodies of the butterflies. Yeah, it's just something, you don't need to think about it that much. It's just the motion, I think, of moving your hand from your drill tray onto your canvas, you're achieving something and it's just the motion is just relaxing. Well, I find it is anyway. I just, it's my happy place is diamond painting. And then finally, E is that one. Okay. As I say, if I'd have got those the wrong way around, I think I'd have realised, I'd like to think I would have realised that the small ones weren't the bodies of the butterfly. <laughs> And just pop these last ones in here. And then we are all kitted up and ready to go. I mean, you can work, work from the bags and some people do work from the bags and then just fold them over and put a bit of sellotape on. Um, but I found particularly when there's an awful lot of colours that it can get a bit confusing for me. Um, I like to, anything that's over like five, well, ten colours maybe, um, to kit it up. Some of the cards have maybe got 12 colours. I don't with the cards, but anything like this with there's a lot of uh, colours, I do like to just kit up there. So that is now all done. I've got my trays ready. I've got lots of spare baggies there. So I only needed the one spare one. I've got all my rubbish. I've got my little key code. And then, you find it, I've got my canvas all ready to go. So that's all of that kitted up quite quick time as well. Okay, well, thank you for joining me while I've just uh, got this ready to kit up. I hope you'll join me when I've completed it and do my review on it and show you everything that I've done. But thanks for watching. Um, if you've enjoyed it, please press the like button. And if you want to see the next videos and see the completion of this, if you press subscribe and if you press on the little bell that's next to it, just down in this bottom corner, then it will uh, notify you when the next videos come on. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all again in the next one. Bye for now.